Hello, and thank you uh, for joining today's Control Central product webinar sponsored by Functional Devices. Uh, before we begin, I'd like to let everyone know that throughout this presentation, we'll be in listen-only mode, so please type any questions in the chat box, and all questions will be answered at the end of this presentation. Uh, my name is Dominic Porte. I am the VP of Operations for Control Central. I would like to introduce our very special guests and friends of ours from Functional Devices. We have uh, Kale Gerlach, Ryan Smith, and Angie Jarvis. This webinar will consist of broad overview of their company, uh, product offering, and uh, new products coming soon. Without further ado, I'd like to pass the mic over to Ryan. Thanks, Dominic, and uh, welcome everybody. Today we've got a, uh, like, like Dominic said, kind of a general overview of our product offering. So this is our product categories 101. Uh, the training module will highlight the, the product categories available from functional devices. Our goal is to leave you with the knowledge of functional devices offering in the building automation space. We will cover each category and provide typical applications that the devices are used in. Um, over here on the, the right, that's that's me, Ryan Smith, National Account Manager, and Kale Gerlach over on the left. And Angie was too pretty for us to put her picture up here today. It would crash the internet. So. Moving on, a little history behind functional devices. We've been in the automation industry since 1969, originally designing and manufacturing products for fire alarm systems that communicated over power wiring. Since then, we've expanded our offering to serve a broad range of industries, including building automation, HVAC, lighting, electrical, panel shops, fire and life safety, wireless, and power monitoring. We design, manufacture, and provide technical support, technical support right here in the heartland of Indiana. Every product we produce is tested before it leaves the production floor to ensure our customers get the quality product they've come to expect from functional devices. We are best known for the Relay in a Box product line. RIB's ease of installation, product performance, and durability are why our customers enjoy confidence and peace of mind in every box. RIB products boast the highest success rates in the industry with 99.98% of our products consistently delivering exceptional performance. You'll see a trend in many of these slides, high quality products that save time and money on your projects. That's why RIB customers come back again and again. Reliability and consistent performance saves our customers time and money by not causing problems in applications. It's our goal to keep customers from returning to projects to troubleshoot or replace a faulty product. While we may be best known for the RIB Relay, we also manufacture outstanding products in these categories as well. Our commitment, well, we are committed to being your one-stop solution for relays, power supplies, current sensors, panel building products, projects, and lighting controls. RIB Relays, current sensors, and power supplies make up our most popular product lines. We call these categories the trifecta. Bear with us, a video is coming.
As you saw in the video, Functional Devices Trifecta is the perfect line of accessories to complete your control project and maximize efficiency in your building automation bill of materials. So part of the Trifecta is the rib relay category. Ribs come in many forms, enclosed, hub mounted like the popular RIB U1C, or pan panel mounted in DIN rail, on DIN rail or modular track like the RIB RL1C or the RIB MU1C. Whichever form factor fits your applications, ribs are available in multiple coil voltages and contact ratings. They can have clear NEMA 4 rated enclosures for wet locations or red to indicate use in emergency applications. We have models with overrides or handoff auto switches, dry contact inputs, latching relays or time delay relays for those niche applications. We also have polarized relays for use in fire alarm applications. So that was a, a beginner's guide to relays. All of those videos that you'll see today are also uh, on our YouTube as well, if you'd like to watch them again later. Um, so anyway, re re rib relays are known for reliability and convenience, but how does a relay work? So like I said in the video, a relay is a switch. Instead of using your finger to physically push the switch up or down, a relay works by powering an electromagnet, which mechanically changes the state of the contacts from open to closed or closed to open. This allows you to control one electrical circuit from another electrical circuit. For example, using a 240 volt bathroom light to enable a 120 volt exhaust fan. 
Most common uses for our relays are in building automation systems. For example, a controller is sending a 24 volt signal to a relay, enabling a 277 volt pump or a 480 volt variable frequency drive to start and stop a fan. Our most popular relays are universal relays. These relays accept the universal input, accepting a range of voltages depending on the model selected. For example, you can pick a RIBU1C that accepts 10 to 30 volts AC or DC or 120 volts AC. Or you can pick the RIBH1C that accepts 10 to 30 volts AC DC or to the, the range from 208 to 277 volts AC. Controls professionals consider RIV universal relays a must have on their, on, on their truck due to its versatility. Now current sensors. Building automation systems command equipment on and off throughout a building using relays. But once the command is sent, a sensor is needed to verify operation. Current sensors monitor status and verify operation of equipment by measuring the flow of electronic current through a circuit. In a sequence of operation, a command relay will be enabled to start a piece of equipment. Once that equipment begins to draw power, a current sensor will provide verification, allowing the controller to move to the next sequence, like enabling gas heat in an air handler, for example. RIP current sensors are available in split and solid core. Our solid core sensors are small enough to easily fit inside an electrical junction box, making them a great fit in just about any installation. RIB split core sensors are a great fit for quick installs where you may find yourself unable to remove a wire from its termination point. The unique sliding latch of the split core sensor allows the installer to place the device easily in tight spaces. Whether you wanna know if a device is on or off, or if you want to know more precise status of the power consumption in a circuit, RIV has you covered. Functional Devices offers a variety of current switches that give on-off value, as well as transducers that provide an analog value to fit your application needs. Uh, we're, we've got some new products that I can tell you about in the next couple slides. The first being the RIV XKN UTA is a new addition. This is a solid core adjustable sensor with a range of 0.2 amps all the way up to 150 amps. The sensor installs in a breeze with its two LED indicators. The first LED turns on when the sensor begins sensing any current, and the second LED comes on when the current exceeds the set point, which is tuned by the installer with no more than a screwdriver. This sensor boasts another great benefit of having one amp switching at 30 volts AC or DC, allowing interlocking of equipment without the need of another controller. Another new product is the XGNTF-125. This is also a new offering that is a kind of a low threshold sensor. This goes down to uh, 0.125 amps, uh, all the way up to 150 amps, making it great to use on small motors, uh, all the way up to large motors and, and larger, larger loads. This sensor can also switch loads up to uh, 30 volts ACD, ACDC at one amp max. And the third new product we're going to tell you about today is the RIB XGT 420 RMS. This is a split core transducer that is designed to be used on non sinusoidal waveforms like those produced by variable frequency drives. The sensor is multi range and field selectable for 0 to 10, 0 to 20, or 0 to 50 amp applications. The information the sensor reads is converted to a 4 to 20 milliamp signal for building automation systems to monitor. Now, the third leg of the trifecta is power supplies. If every project contains relays and current sensors, then you can bet they'll be needing a RIB power supply. Control panels are full of all sorts of electronic devices. Many of them have a transformer, terminal strips, circuit breakers, and accessory outlets mounted inside. RIB power supplies take all those necessary components for your control panel and combine them into a UL listed, ready to apply in the field, pre-assembled enclosure.
So as you say, I saw in the video, the uh, RIB AC power supplies are UL listed, so you know they're safe to use on your projects. They step down the voltage from 120 volts to 24 volts AC, supplying class two low voltage power for the control panel and field mounted devices. Several sizes available from single 40 VA all the way up to 100 VA and dual 100 VA power supplies. Safety and convenience are the, at the forefront of design with high low voltage separation LED indicators, on-off switches, and convenience outlets to power a technician's laptop, computer, or network router. Large AC power supplies. Centrally locating your control system's power requirements make troubleshooting and servicing your control system a walk in the park. These power supplies are available in 500 VA, 300 VA, and 200 VA. There's three or five isolated 100 VA outputs on the 300 VA and 500 VA series, and there are five isolated 40 VA outputs on the 200 VA series. Models are available with accessory receptacles and low voltage compartments that are accessible by removing a cover to access low voltage connections without the risk of accidentally contacting line voltage termination. As you can see in the image, the models are available in a sub-panel assembly that does not include the enclosure. These devices can be added to your existing control panel. RIB large power supplies are UL listed and perfect for VAV or multi-zone applications. Instead of running line voltage power to each terminal box and installing a separate transformer at each terminal location, RIB large power supplies centrally locate the power for your controllers in a mechanical room or above a ceiling. Easily service your HVAC, HVAC equipment by switching off power to a branch of controllers at a central location with a RIB large power supply. The same great features of our AC power supplies are available in DC as well. Switches, breakers, LED indicators, terminal strips, and accessory outlets. Single 60 watts at 24 volts DC or a dual power supply that has 60 watts at 24 volts DC on one side and 100 VA, 24 volts on the other. We also carry a line of DIN mount DC power supplies. There's nine models available, ranging from 15 watts to 240 watts. The output is 24 volts DC, and it has a multi-range input, which auto-selects 100 to 240 volts AC. Network compatible devices. There's no better way to free up space on your expensive IO controller than by utilizing a network you've already installed in the building. RIB BACnet relays and logic boards are pre-packaged and ready to install on a project, saving the controls contractor the expense of buying separate components and installing them on site. RIB BACnet applications range from single command, simple command and status to safely, safely shutting down an air handler when an alarm indicates a failure. RIB BACnet devices are a cost-effective solution to adding expensive multi-output controllers to a project when only a few inputs or outputs are needed. Transformers. Transformers supply low voltage power for your control system. Whether you need a single hub, dual hub, circuit breakers, or multi-tap primaries, we carry a full line of transformers from 20 VA to 375 VA. There are options for class two power and UL listed or UL component recognized, as well as USA made models if your specifications required. The image display highlights the different form factors available for functional devices. Power controls. Functional devices offer all the same great components of our power supply housings and individual pre-assembled components for your project. These devices are great for when you just need to add another accessory to outlet to a panel or throw in an override SIB that's switching a box to manually enable a circuit. A UPS or uninterruptible power supply is required on many types of projects to provide power during an outage. Our pre-assembled UPS interfaces allow for easy plug and play installation of your UPS without having to cut cables or make modifications to the UPS that may void its warranty. The pre-configured board is plug and play ready for you to add a PSH or transformer to power your vital control system. It also adds a breaker and accessory outlet for your convenience. Specialty peripherals. Functional devices is actively involved in the development, 
manufacturing and product production of specialty peripheral devices. These devices save time and money by packing several features into one logic board. There are models that safely shut down an air, safely shut down an air handler in an alarm condition, as well as devices that translate a single analog input into several binary output relays. So when it comes to saving time and money, there's no better option than wireless devices. Functional devices carry several convenient options for wirelessly commanding relays. These components allow an installer to bypass running cables when build restrictions limit their ability to modify or run cabling along walls. The relays are paired together so that one relay is enabled, the paired relay follows suit. There are also options for wirelessly enabling the relays with a rocker switch, motion sensor, window or door opening sensor or key card transmitter. It is worth mentioning that the switches or sensors mentioned do not require external power to operate. Switches use kinetic energy of the rocker to create a signal to activate relays. The motion and window switch use daylight harvesting for power, but can be powered by batteries in low light conditions. Furthering our commitment to be the leading source for panel building, Functional devices carries enclosures that are NEMA 1 or NEMA 4 rated and UL listed. We also carry the accessories for mounting components inside the panels, including DIN rail, modular track, and screws. Save more time and money by ordering an enclosure with a rib power supply and back panel pre-installed, shipped directly to your control project. These UL listed power supply enclosure combos come out of the box ready to mount on a wall. Functional Devices now offers a utility grade BACnet enabled power meter, along with all the components necessary to complete your power monitoring project. Source the components individually or select a pre assembled kit, 
that comes complete with fuses, terminal strips, and disconnect. We also have an assortment of solid core, split core, and rope style sensors available to make functional devices your one-stop solution for revenue grade power metering. Functional Devices also specializes in lighting controls. RIB Lighting Controls has UL924 emergency power relays and power inverters, general purpose relays, closet light controllers, phase angle dimmers, as well as wireless and ocean options. For more information, head to Functional Devices website to find your local RIB lighting representative. RIB is well known in the industry for building quality components to help save time and money on projects, but we back that reputation up with world-class customer service. Our team of inside sales and customer service folks are ready to assist your purchasing team to ensure that orders and invoices are handled with the same confidence and peace of mind that our products deliver to installers. Oh, look, there's Angie. Oops. Along with great customer service, our in-house engineering and tech support teams are well equipped to, to help you select the right product for your control application. More than likely, the technician that answers the your call had a hand in designing and manufacturing process of the product you're calling about. And then features of our website, we have industry-leading product filter specifications, features, certifications. You can download documentation and catalogs, uh, read our tech blog, request quotes or find a distributor, uh, view product videos as well. Coming soon to our website is the distribution portal, so our distributors will be able to log in and easily access pricing and product availability as well as uh, track your orders with ease and uh, check out their order history. So that'll be coming halfway through the year, first quarter. All of our links are here along with the QR code if you want to go check our YouTube and see some more of the videos that are on there. Our Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram all host uh, new product releases, important updates, uh, as well as blog posts and video posts. And that's all I have for today. Thank you for your participation and uh, hope you enjoy our products. We can Ryan, thank you. No. All right, sorry about that. Yeah, Ryan, thank you for that presentation. Um, that's awesome. Um, I'd like to open up a uh, qu uh, question and answer right now. Uh, please, if you have any questions, type it in the question box. Um, and I'm sure Ryan would be more than happy to answer any and all of uh, your questions that you might have. Uh, real quick question for me, Ryan. Um, I know a lot of your products or most of your products are, are produced here in the US and Indiana. Uh, what percentage and uh, can you give us a little background on that? As far as a percentage, yeah, 90 to 95. I mean, there's only a few items that we that we source from other areas. Uh, mm -hmm. We do have USA made options available for transformers that are made here in the US. But um, some of the power supply, like the DC power supplies uh, come from other places. But say a vast majority of what we sell, we manufacture uh, just on the other side of the wall that I'm sitting on right now. <laughs> nice. Uh, that's that's awesome. I'd love to hear about stuff being made in the U.S. Uh, we do have a question from Robert. It says, do you offer wireless products? We do. We have some uh, Inotion relays that communicate to each other uh, over the Inotion Alliance. If you're asking more about like BACnet wireless, we're not quite there yet, but it is on the uh, horizon for us. Okay. That was the only question that I that I seen. Um, if anybody else has any further questions for Ryan and his team here at Functional Devices, uh, please type them in, and we'll give it a couple minutes to see if any other questions come through. Yeah, I really encourage everybody to go follow our socials because we do have a lot of exciting new products uh, to come in the next few months. Uh, Backnet over IP relays are, uh, are are coming soon. We have some new power supplies as well as some new relays that may be uh, introduced soon. So keep be on the lookout for those. I think those are gonna be some uh, game changing devices for the industry. Yeah, definitely. And I know I visited your booth at AHR uh, Ashray just recently and uh, you guys were coming out with a, a new transformer. Can you give us a little background on that? Yeah, we so we have a new transformer that's 
coming soon. It is a den mounted uh, enclosed transformer that has a four amp breaker built into it. Um, removable terminals, so servicing or, or disconnecting power for servicing is really easy. Um, it's just a, a sleek design with vents, so it doesn't get too hot, you know. Uh, it, it'll match our DIN mount relays, so it'll be nice and pretty in your panels. I know that's important. Uh, what else? What, what was what was more uh, appealing, the the new products that you saw, or the, or the Jordans we were all wearing? <laughs> Both. You guys are always stylish. Uh, oh. Robert has another question. Can you explain InOcean, which is the the wireless protocol that you guys use? Yeah. So they're um, it's based off of radio frequency right Kale? yeah so they're they're trained together when you enable one relay any relay that is trained to that first relay will come on at the same time so you can basically wirelessly daisy chain these relays and an application example would be you know if you had some outdoor lights that you wanted to uh come on but there wasn't a direct path for the wiring as long as you can en enable one relay you could wirelessly communicate to all the other relays for the outdoor lights to come on. So if you had lights distributed around your building for outdoor lighting, you could have all those come on without running a signal wire to each uh, outdoor light. Awesome. Uh, if, if Robert, if you're really interested in it, let's get your information. Maybe we can send you a, a sample out and you can play with it and let us know what you do with it. Yeah, we definitely have Rob, Robert's information. We can go ahead and get that get that over to you and uh and you get you guys can uh definitely um get them up to speed on on your guys uh, uh in ocean products uh I'll, I'll ask a question to the group that's remaining is there a, a product that you'd like us to see like us like to see us manufacture that we don't already make oh great question absolutely And not seeing anything pop in, but Robert does say thanks, appreciate it. So I just want to let you guys know. No problem, Robert. Good talking to you. So, give it another minute, Ryan, and see if uh, yeah. anything else uh, comes in. Want to make sure that all questions are are answered. Um, and then also too, if uh, there's any questions after this uh, webinar is over, you can always uh, contact us here at Control Central or you can contact uh, Functional Devices. Um, they're always uh, really easy to work with. So um, you can always do yeah, that the, after. The email that was in some of those videos that you saw, RIBU at Functional Devices, that actually goes directly to my inbox. Oh, I'm not seeing any, uh, oh, something came in here. Let me see. And if there's any categories that you want more information on, I'm happy to do further trainings, uh, specific trainings on relays. We can get, do deep dives into all the offerings we have in each category, relays, current sensors, power supplies, everything else that we saw today. Awesome. Well, Robert didn't have another question, but he also said I've used RIB relays for over 20 years, only had one failure. Wow, that's uh, that's that's a huge plug for you guys. That's awesome yeah. to hear. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we see that. You know, my, my wife gets mad at me whenever we're walking anywhere with exposed ceilings because I'm always staring up looking for the little red LED and pointing out our rib relays to my wife. She's like, I don't care. <laughs> Yeah, we, been, we've seen some old, old relays, you know, you can kind of track how old they are by the, the older um, emblems we have and designs on the uh, stickers. So some of those are, are have been out there in the wild for a long time. Yeah, I have the same thing with my wife. I've been selling uh, thermostats, peripheral devices and everything for over 20 years. And when I see a new, a new something on the wall, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that part number. And she's like, I don't even want to hear it. I don't yeah. want to hear it. Yeah, so. I'm um, not seeing any more questions pop through. So um, hold on, we got might might have one more question. I'm not seeing on my oh, screen. We do have one more question. Uh, it's okay. from Stephen. Yeah, uh, the question is, uh, I would like to see a product with numerous inputs for CTs that feed to a single BACnet COM device. So uh, hopefully you got that, Ryan. One, one more time. Yeah, so the question is, I would like to see a product with numerous inputs for CTs 
that feed to a single BACnet COM device? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, go to our website. There is a product there that has 12 digital inputs uh, that communicates over BACnet. And if you go to our website and, and navigate to, um, what do we call the, the BACnet stuff? Intelligent field devices. There's a device in there that has, like I said, 12 digital inputs that you could monitor uh, CTs with pretty easily. There's also one, if you don't need 12 inputs, there's a uh, BACnet board that has four inputs and four outputs. So you could take those four statuses and uh, through your sequence, enable four devices to come on. Okay, great. Thanks. Uh, hopefully that answered your question, Stephen. And I'm not seeing any more questions. Anybody seeing any more questions? Uh, okay, but uh, like I said, after the fact, if you guys want to um, contact us here at Control Central or RABU, it was RABU at functionaldevices.com. Uh, you can contact Ryan. He'll, he's more than willing to answer any of your questions uh, after this webinar. Um, I'd like to give a special thanks to Ryan, Kale, and Angie from Functional Devices. Can't say enough about the quality and versatility of their products. Um, also, I'd uh, like to thank all of our customers for attending the webinar and wish everybody a great afternoon. Thanks, Dominic. Thank you, Control Central. Thank you, guys. Thank Talk you. to you later. Bye.